This is the Star News Brief. I'm Joel Iregi. President William Ruto's government has drastically cut on debt dependency for its 4 trillion shilling budget starting July 1st. The administration is however instituting painful tax measures to raise revenues. The budget presented on Thursday in Parliament by National Treasury CS Njugunandongo shows the government will borrow only 597 billion shillings to fill the budget deficit for 2024-2025, almost 400 billion shillings less compared to the current financial year. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. MPs have termed President William Ruto's 3.9 trillion shilling budget over ambitious and that which would stretch the country's revenue-raising measures. Speaking after the budget presentation, lawmakers raised concerns with how the multi-trillion budget will be financed. Treasury Cabinet Secretary Njuguna Ndongo on Thursday presented the 2024-2025 budget highlights in Parliament. Taxes are projected to realize 2.9 trillion shillings of the budget, while the government will go borrowing 600 billion shillings. As Kenyans continue to mull over the possible impacts of the just-announced budget proposals, residents of Nairobi have expressed mixed reactions. A post-budget spot check by the Star has revealed that a majority of Nairobi residents interviewed said they did not follow the live proceedings of budget presentation. However, those who did, like Aldieri Mula, said his key takeaway was the proposal to adopt the accrual accounting for counties, which he says will contribute to more transparency. President William Ruto and Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa have kept off politics during their tour in Meru County. The two leaders focused on the government's development agenda. This is the first time Ruto is visiting Mount Kenya since his differences with Gashagwa surfaced. He was accompanied by Cabinet Secretaries Kiture Kindiki of Interior, Mithika Linturi of Agriculture and Simon Chalugui of Cooperatives. Dry weather will continue in almost all parts of the country, the weatherman has said in a five-day forecast. However, many places will be cloudy, ushering in Kenya's annual cold season, David Gikungu, head of the meteorological department, said. June is usually dry and cool in most parts of Kenya, but KMD noted that this season will still be wetter than average. Rainfall is expected over a few areas in the highlands east and west of the Rift Valley, the Lake Victoria Basin and the Rift Valley. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.